Denmark isn't that far away, but West is even closer, only about a one hour drive in north from here. Uh, when I think of a Jalopstad, um, what comes into my mind is that beautiful old tobacco factory that's not producing tobacco anymore. And there's a very nice coffee roastery that you have, that's what I'm thinking about, and also second-hand shops. I love those in Jakobstad. Uh, Jakobstad is a city about 20,000 inhabitants. If you take the whole region, it's about 50,000. Isn't that so? Yep. And uh, it was founded uh, by a woman named Ebba Rahe, with the permission of Queen Christina. So happy International Women's Day a little bit late. <laughs> and also a national poet, Mr. Rudeberg, was born there. But now we will hear more about uh, a cluster that is in Jakobstad, Alamun Industrial Park, with about 2,000 employees starting their daily work there. So we welcome on stage Osa Björkman, who is the project manager for our global circular economy platform. The stage is yours. Thank you. Thank you. Is the microphone on? Yes. Excited to be here today sharing our home in Industrial Park's circular, circular economy journey. And thanks to Vasa Energy Week for this opportunity. I am Vasa Björkman and I work as a project manager for All Home and Industrial Park. So what does the story of All Home and Industrial Park offer you? I aim to inspire you with a concept where diverse industries choose to collaborate despite their differences in size, sectors and materials. Together the industries are committed to a systematical, to systematical development, a sustainable circular economy. Pietarsaari is a bilingual international region in Finland's western coast, about an hour drive north from here. With a population of 50,000 in the region, it has a rich history for trade and industry and a home to various successful export companies. AIP is an association of industrial operators in an area with a turnover exceeding 1.3 billion euros, of which 80% goes to export. A geographical concentration of eight industrial, three operational, and 53 service companies, employing nearly 2,000 people directly. At All Home and Industrial Park, globally renowned companies specialize in wood processing, steel, and shipbuilding composites. In the forest industry, UPM, Pietarsari Pulp Mill, produces pulp from nearby forests. All Home and Saha, Sawmill, processes softwoods into timber goods with wood chips and sawdust supplied to the pulp mill. And Valki's Pietarsari plant manufactures wrappings and linings for paper and corrugated board industry. Billerud is a supplier of primary fiber packaging materials producing sack and craft paper. And then in the composite sector, there is Baltic Yachts, specializing in custom carbon fiber yachts, and Mauter Swan, also manufacturing luxury yachts. And MCE, Nord Pipe Composite Engineering, produces technical industries, plastics like pipes and tanks for demanding conditions. In the steel sector, OSTP is a manufacturer of stainless steel, producing welded process pipes, fittings, and process equipment. All Homes Craft is one of the world's largest biofuel power plants, provides electricity, process steam, and district heating to both <coughs> industry and households in the area. The ports and associated services play a crucial role 
in the parks infrastructure and international logistics. Wilhelm Schumann began his industry in 1883, and a few years later he started a sawmill at Alholmen, which led to the development of the whole forest industry over time. And several related industries have spun off from the Schumann sawmill, and with that natural collaboration and material transfer between these industries in the forest sector. Since the foundation 2016, Alholm Industrial Park Association has developed cooperation with the re regional company Concordia, which uh, has owned several development projects in which ARP has uh, participated. These projects have benefited the ecosystem of the in industrial park. Previously, the industries in the region were simply geographically close. However, since the founding of this association, there has been a significant growth in collaboration. The projects related to green transition has brought industries closer together. They have built commitment, recognized industries' needs and wants, and found more opportunities to deepen cooperation. This led to the All Home and Circular Economy Platform project, which is currently ongoing. The aim for this circular economy is high, and in the future, AIP is striving for an even bigger project, perhaps with Business Finland. AIP launched its new strategy about six months ago, and one of the key ingredients is communication. A strong belief that visible communication efforts also with communicating hurdles. The concept of circular economy focuses on material, energy and waste reduction, aiming to achieve zero landfill by 2030. And this goal requires significant effort. The industries have a strong belief that by working together and embarking on this journey, they collectively can accelerate the process. The industrial park compromises five teams, each with personnel and key positions that attend regular meetings with different themes to be discussed. The themes are environment, service, human resources, and safety and communication. The ASEP project includes five work packages communication for internal engagement and commitment, and external outreach to stakeholders and the public. Active, transparent sharing is the key, we believe. The energy work package is focusing on identifying sustainable energy solutions within the industrial park. And the material work packages aims to establish systems for circulating and reusing materials and side streams. In the resources work package, the aim is to promote a culture of resource sharing, for example, skills, education, facilities, and machinery. And there, of course, are the I work package. For attracting new talent, this is crucial. Through the industry park concept, the strengths are that industries know what they want, they know what they need, they have a strong commitment and have the desire to succeed in this transformation. They are also united in a clear goal. On the challenge side, the quite diverse type of industries, size-wise, but also governance-wise, because not all industries are governed locally. And this requires different approaches. Financing is also a key question. The industries need a clear how do we benefit from this short term? What does it cost? And get the information what the business received from the investment. There are also different stages of maturity between the industries. Some do it because they want, and some because they have to. On the circular economy context, 
the forest industry have achieved accomplishments in the circular economy for decades. The mill area is a versatile hub for biomass industry. Wood from the surrounding area is processed into pulp, lumber, paper, and paper recyclers. And the wood waste are used to produce energy at Alhome Craft. Green liquor sludge from the pulp mill is used to replace limestone, reducing sulfur dioxide emissions from the power plant when needed. In the composite sector, Kimura project enables significant improvements. Kusa Koski uh, crushed composite that becomes uh, material, raw material to thin cement and that is used in cement production. And although Kimura is a good project, solvolysis and pyrolysis would be a lot better, but it is still not available or possible because of high costs. So there are, there are still a lot to be done. So what can we learn from Alhomen Industrial Park's approach to circular economy? Here are three short advice. Collaborate with your neighbors and others who show interest and don't be intimidated by size differences, achievement differences or materials. Networking is the key. You get ideas, you share ideas. Share your learning journey. Communicate with others where, where you need improvement and ask for advice. We are all in this together. Involve teams and celebrate success and set high targets and milestones and motivate and drive improvement. Involve the teams and employees and celebrate. And if you have questions, I will be here all day. Feel free to approach me and ask questions. Thank you for listening and thank you NHB for this opportunity. time for one very short question if there is any from the audience and as also said she is available for questions also afterwards do we have any on the third row there <laughs> okay thank you also for a great presentation and, and very nice to see the background study of all the streams it was very visual to see all that work and, and how it worked in practice. Uh, I was thinking a little bit, uh, what are the next steps for, for AIP? You're leading this project now. Will you be going in for a common platform to really share the data? Yes, with... yes we will. Uh, for example, for site streams, there will be a digital platform with live site streams showing, perhaps on the website. Yeah, looking forward to see that. Sounds really good. Yep. Thank you, Asa, once again. Thank you. The Netherlands.